it's hard to explain the contentment and the satisfaction you get out of seeing nature, uh, the serenity, of, uh, the closeness you have with the Lord when you're up doing the crops, to seeing crops grow, seeing calves grow, uh, seeing your family happy on the farm, having picnics on the farm. Uh, your farm is your income, but it's also your hobby. It's who you are. Uh, you recreate here and you work here. It's, it's kind of hard to explain. Well, my brother um, graduated from college, and got a job teaching um, in the early 1970s. And at that time, was, my father was very ill, so he helped my father. And um, then when he was married, he continued teaching full-time because he ended up with four children. This family farm could not support that uh, number of people, so he taught school and ran the farm. I was driving 70 miles to work. There was no buildings on this farm. It was all run down, no fences had cattle and I, I was about I had it I was getting pressure from all corners and my sister Karen said well uh, you can't quit you got too much invested and uh, I remember her saying that because I really thought I'd quit and move to Reedsburg and just teach school and golf on weekends and I'd see teachers walk in a Monday morning and they were all suntanned and from golfing I walked in on Monday morning and that's one thing when you're young, you can plow all weekend, take a good shower, comb your hair, and it looked like I golfed too, because I was all tanned, you know. When my husband and I got engaged, I knew immediately where I wanted to get married, and it was right here on the family farm. Um, my sister got married here, and to us, my dad always instilled family values and wanted us to know where we came from and so having the wedding here was so sentimental and he always said that God was here in this valley so this was our church. We have a one-room school at the end of our driveway. Uh, my dad went to school here. My grandmother actually taught school there, and that is how my grandparents met, because um, my grandpa farmed here, and then she taught there, and you know, things happened. And um, My dad can never say that he walked uphill both ways, because he didn't have to go very far to school. He took his pony down to the end of the driveway and back. To be part of a century farm means a lot. I love that I have the history behind me. I have a huge farming heritage. That is what I'm, why I'm doing what I do. I work for Wisconsin Farm Bureau and I love that my grandparents were Farm Bureau members and they went to Washington, D.C. back in the 20s and 30s and my dad's been a Farm Bureau member and I love what Farm Bureau does for agriculture. Um, and so for me to carry on agriculture's legacy, uh, Farm Bureau is a big part of that. I hope to buy the home farm someday. That's my goal. It's kind of hard to get older and you know how to make money and then you're too old to do it. <laughs> so I'm still uh, turning the buck on it in a bad year, and you get satisfaction out of that, of, of being a survivor. That's another part of being, a, a pride of being a farmer. You're a survivor.